What's up guys, this is Vic, founder of Warhorse Strength Camp in the Warhorse Academy, creator of the Champion Army for male entrepreneurs and businessmen like you, where we teach guys the champion's way to winning it all in business, marriage, and life. Woo! All right, man, so <clears throat> wanted to share a message with you today. I took my son to the barber shop. I specifically asked the barber, can you do this cut? Can you do the fade that I want for my son's head? I don't like my kids looking like they got into a fight with a weed whacker. And she was like, yes. And I showed her a picture. I was like, can you do this cut? Yes. Got it. So I go sit down, come back. Cut is totally not fucking like that. My son's looking in the mirror with his eyes watering. It's one of my twins, Leo. And I asked her, I was like, ma'am, you know what? I asked you specifically, can you do this cut? And she said, yeah, I know it's going to look right. I'm like, there's no way that you're going to make this look right. This is a high and tight. I don't want my kid looking like he has a high and tight or this his hairline's all crooked. It looks like shit. I was like, can you fix this? So it still looks halfway decent. Yes. And I was like, you know, unfortunately, you said yes a little while ago. I still need you to fix this. She comes back later. His line's crooked. It's, all this shit's going on with my son's head. And I'm like, man, like, I was boiling. I just wanted to blow up on her. but I And she was pissed off because I kept sending him back. And I'm like, why are you mad for you screwing up a job that you said you know how to do? And then when I point it out and then send him back so you can fix it, you're mad at me. Well, there was a point in that situation where I had to make a conscious decision. Be like, look, I will send him back for as many times as possible, and I'm not going to make a big stink. I don't want my son to be subconscious about his, or self-conscious about his hair, about how he feels about himself, because I made a big deal that his hair is jacked up, because he don't know. He's just a kid. So anyway, she fixed it. She never came back over, whatever. Here was the lesson. I am the first line of defense for my kids. So I sent him back. He got a nice haircut. He looks good. He feels good about himself. He got his lollipop. I was happy about that. She wasn't happy about it, but I really truly believe that I made her better. Here's the lesson. When you are a professional, it's your responsibility to do what you said you were going to do. Sometimes getting it wrong is going to help you go back and get it better. I'll say that again. Sometimes getting it wrong is going to help you go back and get it better, but it's going to take somebody to have the balls enough to actually hold you to the word that you've given people that you actually know how to do what you said you know how to do that's how you get better screwing it up sometimes going to cause you to need to keep your word right and when i took a look at that i was like hey look in my body i'm the first line of defense nobody's going to wake me up to train nobody's going to wake me up to do what's required so i can be powerful every day so i can show up every day so i can do what i want to do physically in my business nobody's going to market for me Nobody's going to do what's required of me. So even when I'm not good, if I do it wrong, I'm willing to do it better. I'm the first line of defense for my business, for the money that we make, to be able to serve the purpose that I've driven forward in my life for the men that I'm called to lead. Where is that for you? You need to be a professional. If you know how to do something, say yes and go do it. If you don't know how to do it, say you don't know how to go do it, but start, fix it, go back and forth. Make sure the line is right. And in the end, even if it takes somebody to tell you, hey, look, man, it's still screwed up. Go back and do it again. Hey, look, man, it's screwed up. Go back and do it again. Eventually, you get it right. Don't be pissed off. That person fucking helped you. The truth is, is had I let my son come back with a jacked up haircut, that barber would never get better. My son would always walk around with a jacked up haircut. He would think that shit was normal. I would have felt like shit sitting in a chair allowing somebody else to fuck up my kid's hair knowing that I asked them how to do something and they gave me an answer and I let it happen. I would have screwed him, my son. I would have screwed that barber, her, cutting my son's hair and she would never get better because she would practice doing shit fucked up. And I would have also screwed me by not recognizing that I'm the first line of defense for my son's you know, haircut, the way he looks. I'm also the first line of defense for my body. I'm the first line of defense for my business. I'm the first line of defense for everything that goes on in my life are you. Look, this is how we run shit at Champion. This is where things are. If you're a man out there and you're sitting around and you're letting shit go on in your life that you shouldn't, realizing that you're the first line of defense to make sure that shit goes right, it's time for you to do something about it. Nothing will change unless you change. Maybe you need somebody in your life to point out the crooked lines so you can go back and fix them so you finally get shit straight. I don't know what that is for you. Maybe your business, maybe your marketing, maybe your money, maybe your body, maybe your marriage. One of those things might be crooked. It's time for you to fix them. It's time for you to own up. It's time for you to get people in your circle that will hold you accountable to those things so you can go back and fix them. It's time for you to step up and be a champion for those people in your life. That starts with you. All right, here's what I want you to do next. Go to championarmy.com. Watch that video. 
fill out the application. Let's set up some time for you and I to talk, and I want you to come down and have this champion experience with us at the war, uh, the uh, academy with us at Warhorse. This is what we do. We make champion men, period. Will you be one of them? All right, man, let's talk soon. Wage war.